Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and I am back with another server admin tutorial. This week I'm going over auto repair, which is a fun little plugin. Helps the new users that get on your server just get off and running. What it does is it allows you to auto repair any item in the game. Now this is great because uh, you know they could just use stone sword or uh, stone pickaxes and use just cobble to repair their items. They don't have to go and get a bunch of resources, that kind of stuff. So let's get into how do you configure it. It's really simple. You just download it, put it in your your plugins directory, start up your server, and it'll open your config file. We'll go ahead and open that up. And now when you open it up for the first time, there's nothing in there which is fine. And this is the most difficult part of the whole process is just going through and configuring each item, how they'll get repaired, when they'll get repaired, who can repair them, how much is gonna cost. Side note, quick dependency on this is uh, Vault. You need to run Vault, which you need it for a lot of different plugins to tie in with your economy plugins. Um, so yeah, be sure to run that. You will run into some errors if you don't. And then this is how you configure it. I'll get into showing you some real world, real world mm -hmm, examples here in a moment. But um, the author has a pretty good tutorial on how to get it all set up. So basically, each uh, each item that you want to replace, you can either use the standard name or you can use the item ID. Uh, and then you can put there's a normal section and an enchanted section. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, normal. So a leather helmet will cost five leather to repair. Um, you, If you have the item set to have like a different repair, uh, basically if you set, okay, kind of hard to explain. I'm trying to find the word that I want to use. If, you, if an item has damage, to repair it, it will cost less than normal. I don't use this. I just have a straight cost on repairing any item um or actually the more i the more damage an item is the more it'll cost to repair it that's what it is and the, the setting is um i'll show you the setting in the config file when you get there um this is like everything so it'll make more sense in a moment when we get to my config file then you can also set the permission group so who has permissions to get to this the permissions for that i'll put up when i go over the permissions but it's uh, auto repair dot item group and the number and you can go one through nine. If you don't have anything in there, everybody can repair that group or that item. That's fine. I don't I don't distinguish, but maybe you can do this to have some perks for your VIPs or your donors. Um, there you can either do an economy cost, an XP cost, or uh, item cost, or all three. For me, um, normal items it's just regular items to repair if you have an enchanted item you have to have also xp levels the one thing to note about the xp cost is it doesn't go by levels it goes by numbers so if you want to do three levels that's 51 xp if you want to figure out how much it is you can use this sweet minecraft experience calculator link will be in the description to calculate how much what the actual number is for each level so that is that. Um, I think that's about all to go over for the enchanted economy costs minimum. Um, and then this is kind of lays out a few more. We'll get uh, we'll get over to these anvils and the permissions in a moment. Let's uh, look at my config setup, which I'll actually put up. You can download this just to give you a better template to start out with. It doesn't have everything. It's pretty basic. Um, but you can get more uh, creative with it in a moment. And then I'll show you how it works in real world here. Um, all right, so you got a leather helmet, uh, normal leather, two leather to to repair it, and then it chanted it costs five and then three levels. This is, uh, this is all pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, it's just very tedious to go through everything and s configure all of it. Um, the next, the section at the bottom here is the other part that's really interesting. You get the repair of enchanted items. You can allow true or false, and you can add, you can even allow them to repair it, but lose their enchantment. Um, I have allowed and false. One side note on this: make the cost of experience levels pretty high. I mean, I think for mine it's only like five levels, 
and uh, it's kind of degraded the cost of uh, enchanted items on my server, but that's fine. That's how it goes. Um, and then use permissions, true or false, so then you can force it so they're required to have permission to that. So like I said, maybe your VIPs can uh, keep their enchantments or they can actually repair enchanted items automatically. Autom allow automatic tr uh, repair, true, no warnings, no notifications. I like to leave those false so that people do get warnings and notification. It is a little frustrating um, that with armor it's like 50 percent. it starts warning people but and you can't really configure that maybe a side note for the author there the anvil use uh this is this goes back to something the author has put in place uh you can put an iron block down and then a sign that says anvil in any neighboring space which then allows people or makes it so people can't auto repair they have to go to this location and repair um, I didn't do this, although I do have it turned on, but I don't have it set up anywhere. That's a way that you can make people have to all go to the same place. Maybe you can um, uh, like do a capture the portal where the anvil is in on the other side of the portal. So clans have to fight over it so that they can repair their stuff. That would be interesting to do. Um, economy cost. I don't have an economy cost, but you can do true and then you can adjust for damage. XP, adjust for damage, all that kind of stuff. And um, so the last bit of this is, is the permissions. It's the big part is um, you have to do auto repair access for anybody who wants to repair anything. Um, and then info, warn. These are all pretty self-explanatory. Um, allows to repair enchanted items. Like I said, maybe you can have your donors be able to repair enchanted items where everybody else can't. Automatic repair, all that stuff. So how about this? Let's hop into a game real quick, um, and I can show you how this works. I'll actually, uh, I'll just hop on my server. Let's do that. Just one moment here. Oops. Okay, so here we are uh, on my server, and uh, I'll show you a little bit of how this works. Um, I'm just going to do the wooden, uh, wooden uh, spade, so... <laughs> wood spade will break soon and I don't have a I don't have an item to uh, fix it actually so let's let's grab an item real quick um, <clears throat> just one and then uh, there we go so it actually warned me what I need which is kind of nice and then there it goes using one stick to repair wood spade so that is about it for that um, so <laughs> times there's some people on my server but uh whatever <laughs> anyway so this is Kaz uh from Mick Friends and if you found this helpful please leave a comic comment and a like below um I'll do my best to answer any questions that you may have and uh feel free to download uh my configuration file hopefully it helps you out at least helps you get started in the configuration cuz it oh man it took me a while so um yeah that'd be all that's it so okay this is cosmic friends and as always enjoy the game oh.